Good afternoon everyone. This is Shane Thornton of Grand Prairie ISD and this is the first help video for our Tenor YouTube channel. And today's lesson is going to be a simple one. It is how to use the print screen button on your keyboard in order to create a new image file. Now if you have Windows 7 or later installed on your computer, you've got a program that came default with the operating system, if I'm not mistaken, entitled Snippet. And the program Snippet allows you to take a snapshot or cut out a certain area of anything that you can see on your computer screen and then make it a separate image, a separate new image but if you're still using Windows XP like I am you have to either install a third-party program to do this for you or if you know the trick of the print screen you can create a new image file simply by using print screen and a program entitled paint that comes default with XP so how do we do that first thing you want to do obviously is have something up on your computer screen that you want to take a picture of so I'm going to come down and open up a browser and I'm going to go to the Google home page Google has lots of Olympic 2012 images that are always pretty cute and let's say that I want to take an image or create an image file of the girl that's playing field hockey but I don't want all of the noise surrounding it that's also in the browser I want to get rid of all that so the first thing that I want to do is reach up find the print screen button on my keyboard and simply hit print screen now essentially what I've done is taking taken a snapshot of my entire browser but I only want the girl playing field hockey so how do I get rid of all that white noise around it next you want to come down and click start all programs accessories and then find paint click on paint and paint is going to open up a brand new blank canvas and we can come up to the canvas and simply do control V and that's going to paste the entire picture that we've created by doing the print screen now still we want to get rid of all of the white noise around the picture that we actually want so come up over in the left hand corner of paint and make sure you choose the select option and you can start wherever you want you see my crosshairs right there in the middle of the screen and I'm going to simply select the portion of the larger image that I want to save as a new image. Now I'm not going to be too particular about this just for sake of time. Now that I have the picture selected that I want to save as a new file I will simply again do control C which will copy the selected portion and I need to get rid of this so I'm going to do file and new and it's going to say now wait a minute you've made some changes here do you want to save those changes I do not because I simply want to on my new canvas do control V and now I have my new image that I want to save I've got the girl playing field hockey I want to save give it a name girl playing field hockey I assume that's the sport she's playing save as type well bitmap is default for paint but I want to save this as a JPEG I'm gonna save it on my desktop just for ease and now I'm going to close paint and let's see if it worked I'll close my browser I'm going to open my image and there's my new image now why is this valuable 
Well, there's several things that you can do with this, but the one that I think of most when I'm at work is trying to help out my technology department and my technicians when I call them on the phone and I say, hey, my computer is doing this, I'm getting this error message. When I try to explain it to them, they think I'm crazy. But if I can attach the error message that I'm getting by doing a print screen and creating an image and then attaching it to a work order or emailing it to them, then they can see what I'm seeing on my computer screen at the point of failure. And that's very valuable to them in helping you solve your problem. I hope this has been helpful. Please see more videos as they're uploaded to the Tenor Help YouTube channel in the future. Any questions, you can send me an email at shane.thornton at gpisd.org.